Okay, uh, hello everyone. Thanks for logging into this podcast. I have Shubham Rawal here with me. Uh, Shubham is the founder and CEO of StockPay, which makes it easier to learn about financial assets through gamification and makes it a lot easier. Uh, he was also the co-founder and founder of SubPay before this, which was a biometric-based customer identification system. Uh, Shubham, uh, having such a young entrepreneur like you, it's an honor on our podcast. So a lot of insights will definitely come out of this uh, around your ventures and we would like to do a deep dive into the, your journey so far and bring out some really good insights uh, for our for our community. So yeah, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Thank you so much for inviting me. Let's let's uh, get it started, right? Yes, yes. Let's get started. Awesome. Okay. Uh, first thing is stock pay, right? I think uh, everyone would want to know like the process that went behind it. I think initially, at least with the uh, initial phases, that is the vision and the prototype, and when you were thinking about it, right? So, uh, in terms of this, obviously, it's a uh, very disruptive field, and uh, initially consumer, and then uh, something in fintech also, right? It's sort of like the booming industry also right now. So a lot of people are very curious about understanding right. what is the process when you were creating this. So when it came to your structuring your thoughts initially and coming up uh, with this, what was uh, how did you structure it first in terms of learning from peers, other peers in fintech who were either doing something similar or something different, which you could take some inspiration from. And second thing is about uh, solving that small problem initially, right? Which is being something for someone before being everything for everyone yeah. and going on to expand. So first, let's start off with learning from your peers and how you structured your learnings in that phase. Uh, so basically, StockPay started when we exited SubPay. So we exited SubPay in 2020, December. So we had like around six months to do to figure out something else. Now what to do, right? Uh, we were in like, a, I think we were in like the fourth year of our college. We were doing our BTEC at that time. So my co-founder, his name is Yash. So one casual day, I was talking to Yash and uh, he called, he he told me that he wanted to learn about crypto trading. Mm. Right? And crypto was uh, at a boom at that time. Bitcoin was like moving up, really up like 30, 35,000, $40,000. Right? And, and we have been investing for past five years in stock market, right? And we have been playing games like we are core gamers, Dota, Age of Empire, Valorant, you name them. Mm. We have been doing competitive uh, gaming since like a decade or so. Mm-hmm. So both me and Yash. So you can, even if you want to summarize our team, you can say it, we are uh, gamers who have been turned stock traders, right? That's the line that we uh, define ourselves, right? So uh, uh, that day only, when Yash asked me, Ki, hey, uh, I want to learn about crypto and you do it. Can you help me learn? Uh, I said, Ki, yeah, yeah, it's it's very simple. It's just the uh, same like stock market only. I can tell you a trick or two and you, you will be good to go. He said, you know, I don't want to learn like uh, like that uh, boring way. You mm-hmm. you read a ton of books, you read, you go to YouTube and search out content and stuff. So I said, okay, okay. Uh, I'll I'll teach you uh, where there will be some concept to throw say easy way mein honge, mm-hmm. and you can learn it uh, very effectively and you can try doing that. So he said that that's okay. And in that evening only, my sister came back uh, from a call office mm-hmm. and she mentioned that uh, Shubham, can you teach me stock market? Hmm. And in that period, only 2021, we saw two behavior happening. One was a lot of people were going into capital markets, right? And second was a lot of people were playing games. PUBG was pretty famous at that time, right? Yeah. So when she came back, she asked me, Ki, Shubham, can you help me uh, set up an account and help me trade on stock market? It just clicked inside my mind. Hmm. And I think I've been into in startups since I was like 15 years of age. Hmm. I've been coding since like 13 years of age. So it just clicked in my mind, Ki, what if we can make financial assets fun, right? Mm. So Stockpay started with that, with that fundamental question in mind. What if we can make financial market fun and accessible to a lot of Indians out there, mm. right? So we, we knew one thing, we were very clear on one thing that we don't want to be a brokerage, mm. right? Investment will be a part of Stockpay, the zero to one, where one stands for investment. It will be a part of Stockpay, but it will not uh, be a primary thing, mm. right? The primary thing will always be gamification or the learning element on the app, mm. right? So we always consider that although we do the investment part, but it will be a byproduct and it will be done by some other party, mm. probably a broker or a third party uh, services that can fast facilitate that. So, and initially when uh, when I had this idea and uh, I, I got to Yash and I said, yeah, I have an idea and I think uh, I'm very bullish on that. I don't know why, it's just like a gut feeling that I had. And uh, I called around uh, 300 uh, students, if you call them, uh, I don't know how, how I got those numbers. I just 
searched out every other group that I had in my college. And I just called those people and I said hey, that I'm building this type of a product, a gamification sort of product. Would you like to try it out? Mm. And the response was around 73% of the uh, people said that they will love to try out a product like that because they want to go into the, uh, investing, mm. right? They want to learn about it. So I took that data. I went to Yash. I said, hey, Yash, uh, I really want to do something, but I will not say you what I am trying to do. Mm. So I think that's where a co-founder relationship come into the picture. He trusted me on that front. He said, hey, uh, I have complete faith in you, right? Whatever you are trying to do. And I think that will work out. And and sub, to be to uh, to be my surprise, I was like a little surprised or excited also in that fact that he didn't even answer asked me, he, hey, what are you trying to do, right? And he just uh, offered me some money. He okay, do you want some money? Because at that time, uh, my financial condition was not good mm-hmm. because uh, my dad was uh, not doing well. Uh, he was bedridden. He has to do, lost his job, and because of that, a lot of financial pressure was on my family, mm-hmm. right? So everything. Starting, starting sub pay also and starting stock pay also. Every financial help have been done by Yash, mm. and I think that's a that's a part of a relationship that we still share, right? And so he offered me, ki, TK, how much money you want? I said, ki, I want five hundred bucks, and I, I will be doing a Facebook ad. Mm. So I've been a coder, right? So I I created a website with a solution and everything. Uh, so the website was created in within twenty four hours. It was pretty simple in the landing page. And I just took that 500 rupees and uh, started a Facebook ad. Mm. And that Facebook ha- uh, ad got hits around 4,700 hits mm. uh, within six hours, I think. Yeah, 4,700 people uh, signed up on that particular mm. link. Mm. Now, I was like, uh, so every hour I was rechecking it and uh, rechecking the ads and status. And the metrics are going up and up 4,700, 6,500, 9,000, 10,000, 1,200, right? 12,000. So I was like, I was like, what is happening? Right? How many, how, how a lot of people really wanted to go into investing and it's just a simple thing, right? So uh, I took that data. I went to Yash. I, I told him, look, this is what we will be doing next, next, right? And he was pretty fascinated because when I mentioned gamification or games, mm. right? because he's, he's been a Dota player since ages, he, he's on some good ranks in that, uh, in that game also. And we quickly had that bonding, right? So the clarity that we had was mm. right? ये तो ये बनाएंगे, but ये mm. So I think that's how I, we structure the initial thoughts. He, what we don't want to do mm. was, uh, we have been into fintech. So Sapke was a product which was also based in a fintech sector. Mm. Right? So we knew a lot of things about market, uh, stock market, wallets, payments and every other stuff, right? The regulation and stuff also. But it was pretty new for us in terms of SEBI regulations, SEBI rules and regulation, how the brokering industry works. First, uh, we called a lot of our lawyers. We asked them if this idea is even viable or not. Right. So some of the lawyers were like, hey, you are doing dumb shit. Close <laughs> it, down. it was not going to work. But uh, th- there was one uh, lawyer who, who suggested me a way where he said that uh, you have to set a very strong narrative of education. Mm. Right. And that was our primary reason also to start stock pay to help you learn about investing right in a fun and a gamified way. So it just clicked. Yeah, we can do this and we have a way to counter the rules and regulations also, but just making it educative, right? Educative product. So yeah, that was the initial, uh, initial things that we did for stock pay. Mm, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, thank you so much for sharing that journey. Also, it's a very interesting story also to listen to. Yeah. I want to come back to the Facebook ad later and using 500 bucks to sort of do all your initial market research and uh, go yeah. ahead with it. But I'll come to that later. But initially, when you were thinking about gamification specifically uh, and using it in an, like an education context, right? Were, were there any apps or any case studies that you were really looking to for reference and thinking, okay, if I do this, then it should be like this. And it'd be a good way to think about it. Or was it just a, uh, like being a gamer yourself, you sort of intuitively understood how to go about it. Right. So what a lot of people don't understand about gaming is it works on a framework called Octalysis, mm. right? So Octalysis had certain frameworks when in terms of gaming or gamifying a product, even your Facebook do this, even Zomato do use Octalysis, Twitter, any big platform, even Facebook also use that Instagram also. But you don't ever sense about uh, any certain features like, so 
in general when people think about gamification they see ki point like setting honge games hogi leaderboard hoga but gamification is far more uh, developed than that when you move on to different levels of octalysis now you will understand that leaderboard point like games different animation is just a level 1 what once you move upward to level 2 level 3 over uh, there are over uh, eight levels in octalysis mm. right and the big platforms like facebook twitter and these other uh, big companies they uses level 6 or level 7 octalysis mm. where animation is not there where leaderboard is not there but there are certain factors like avoidance sociability unpredictability inside the platform mm. if you if you measure uh, these platform on octalysis framework now you'll come to know that most of the checkbox that octalysis ticks in terms of gamification these platforms have that and mm. it's not about animation it's not about leaderboard or stuff like that mm. right so i always had that concept and there were some games or uh, some platforms that like duolingo mm. so duolingo is a language learning app so i really like how they teach people using a gamified manner like any lang- learn any language using gamification as simple as that right so i was very fond of duolingo at that time and we thought ki how duolingo do that right mm. that was our first question and that's where we come to know about octalysis also of course and being a gamer ourselves we understood the dynamics of a game how there are objectives that are placed right how there are uh, certain predictability and predictability inside the game right how to tie up a user using different currencies inside the app right so we knew all these frameworks i think uh, our background helped that a, a lot even today also we tend to play more games in order to understand the dynamics how mm-hmm. they hook us right so i think that help us uh, start the gamification phase but what do you see na in terms of apps when when they say ki we are using gamification these apps tend to take a lot of time to evolve mm. right so if you see stockpay's first version and now if you see stockpay probably we have covered around 20 30% of the gamification that we intend to have in the product right it's it's a process you can't be like ki agle din aap uthe Uh, the next day you woke up and you were like hey the gamification is done mm. right because at any point you need to have a lot of data and to have that lot of data you have to do a lot of experiments mm. right because uh, so every platform which is game based now these are cl- category defining products mm. when we say category defining people don't have a reference point in place mm. so let's suppose i say pavan uh, i'm doing a i'm building a food delivery app so you have a ton of uh, references in your mind Mm-hmm. catch i have swiggy i have zomato i have uber eats of food panda or stuff like that right okay. so you can compare ki acha if shubham is building a food delivery app i have to do the same following things i have to log in i have to see the restaurant buy the dish pay it and go and the food will be delivered that's the reference point that you have category defining product like stock pay also don't have a reference point if i say i'm building a stock pay you can't refer it to some other platform because there is none right mm-hmm. that happened to dream 11 also that happened to duolingo also right because people don't have a reference point and when people don't have a reference point you have to give them a reference point mm. right so any journey anything that you create inside your application is the first time a user seeing it and mm. they are adapting to it mm. right so you have also seen this ki a lot of competition tend to follow the same ui ux right it's just because people are more used to it mm. right so let's suppose if our competitor is doing something something in the line although they are far bigger than us we can just tend to follow it because now people are more uh, aware of it yeah. aware of the journey right and they have spent a ton of money actually yeah. to let let people know that acha this is uh, the basic function of of, of their company mm-hmm. right so it's actually help uh, you can also consider this when bharat pay and uh, paytm was there so paytm create paytm put a lot of money on advertisement creating that financial awareness ki upi hai payment kar sakte ho wallet hai भारत पे जस्ट केम दे टू केट बाय द स्ट्रॉन्ग राइट बिकॉज ऑलरेडी पेटीएम ने इतना मार्केट के अंदर इन्वेस्ट कर दिया है कि भारत पे को जस्ट अपना डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सही करना है एंड एक प्रोडक्ट बनाना है जो स्केलेबल हो राइट दैट डायनामिक स्टिल वर्क्स या कमिंग ऑन द पॉइंट की आई स्टिल टेक इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम ड्यूलिंग हाउ द गेम फाइव स्टार आई टेक इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम गेम्स कोर गेमिंग एक्सपेक्ट बिकॉज दैट ड्राइव द बिहेवियर इन साइड एस एज ए ह्यूमन बींग एंड आई टेक इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम साइकोलॉजी लॉट बिकॉज गेम्स और गेमिफिकेशन जनरल वर्क इन साइकोलॉजी Correct. Right. So that was my take. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm glad you said the different fields of study that also sort of come into the picture. I think that's 
going to be supremely useful for people to explore also like now that they will listen to this as well yeah. uh okay let's let's come to the facebook ad uh, spending 500 rupees building a facebook page and using that as market research and idea validation right so uh i think this is where a lot of young entrepreneurs specifically go wrong at least the ones who are still in college is their first venture trying to do something uh, either getting ideas or uh, limiting to a very focused focus group will give you biased outcomes and not want not give you like a, a bigger picture of what is going on and also building an mvp is also extremely uh, difficult or challenging in that sense when you're not fully sure about the idea right so uh, what advice would you give in terms of initial market research that phase uh, first when it comes to focus group and what were some of the things you were thinking about when uh, you went ahead and did the facebook activity so i think what we did right at the starting was we built a product for ourselves Mm. So, so when I, I still remember the day when we were raising our first round of financing, and uh, the investor asked us, "What's your TG?" So we we told him that uh, we are our own TG, right? Mm -hmm. The the Gen Zs, the millennials, right? Mm -hmm. And when we were uh, actually doing the targeting also na on Facebook ad, we thought ki what we do, ham log kaise to humne apna apne persona banaya. Acha, mm. I am I am around uh, twenty one. and uh, i i stay in that tier 2 wala college i i live over there i watch these type of videos so i created that persona on paper and i was like hey, i want an audience like me mm. right and i i started targeting that i have to optimize it to the level where we finalize a tg of 18 to 25 mm. right so there was a little course correction that we did in that front also mm. but uh, we were very clear on the part ki yaar hame problem hui thi and we wanted to solve a problem for ourselves first बाकियों के लिए तो सॉल्व हो जाएगी एक बार अपने लिए कर ली तो बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट प्रोडक्ट लाइक दिस फॉर आर सेल्फ ओनली राइट सो दैट वॉज आर प्राइमरी मार्केट थिंग सेकेंड वॉज वेन वी कॉल्ड पीपल राइट सो इन दैट थ्री हंड्रेड कॉन्टैक्ट लिस्ट मैंने तो कर ली थी आई आस यश की यश गिव मी योर कॉन्टैक्ट एनी कॉन्टैक्ट डेट यू हैव आई टॉक टू दम आई कॉल दम एंड टॉक टू दम तो वट आई रियलाइज वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल्स दैट यश हैड इन दॉन्टैक्ट दे डिड हैव द टाइम Hmm. to actually cater or to go to investing also i right? think about investing because mostly people were either busy in their 9 to 5 jobs and when they come back home either the markets are closed or they don't have the energy hmm. right what inside that we figure out was we are not fighting for any other broker we are not fighting for any other games but we are fighting for motivation hmm. right so motivation was our biggest competitor in in terms of stock pay and that's and that's why gamification helped us because gamification actually help you engaged correct right in a fun way because finance is boring as simple as that if you learn it traditionally so uh, i called them and i understood ki our working age ke liye already there are a lot of products advisory robo advisory ai ml right uh, platforms like upstock zeroda also mm -hmm. right professional platforms and if you go into far more elder category these people are mostly working with wealth managers mm -hmm. right uh, the senior citizen people yeah so we thought ki let's Go to a focus area of our audience only. हमें कहाँ पर start हुआ था ये need और कितना नीचे तक हम जा सकते हैं उसमें. So we understood that a below eighteen, below twenty five audience is the primary audience that we wanted to target. Going as below as eighth or ninth standard according to northern regions, right? So eighth or ninth standard will be around fourteen fifteen years old. Yeah. Going starting from that, moving to twenty five years of audience, these people are. these people have two things one was they were really curious and mm. second they were really intelligent so mm. intelligent in the sort ki they knew ki market mein paisa banta hai mm. and second is if they don't do it correctly they will lose a ton, ton of money because they have seen their fathers their relatives and everyone losing a, cup, a lot of money right and th there's a i don't know why there's a myth that always revolves in the indian families ki market to jua hai market to gambling hai yeah right so i think uh, this help us position stock pay in a in a very uh, beginner kind of category mm -hmm. so we always say that there are three type of people on the platform one is explorer one is beginner people one is intermediate people mm -hmm. explorer people are still figuring out ki what the prob uh, problem is unko unko chahiye bhi ki nahi aisa platform ki nahi beginner people are the core audience that they, they knew they are the high intent users they knew ki acha i want to learn about investing and i want to go and learn it on stock pay right intermediate people are that that have already completed the beginner journey they are moving into a direction where they can learn strategies now mm. right strategies and start implementing that mm. so we want to target that zero, negative one zero and one wala journey mm. right so that's where we position stock pay 
perfect perfect uh yeah i think the perfect way to also go to the next thing right which is slightly to move along the journey right now where uh we'll cover a couple of phases one is I- idea has been validated you got a lot of traction on the facebook post and people started coming in so you are like ha huh, okay uh, this is mm-hmm. fine something can be built over here so uh what is the process like of uh, two things or rather it's like one uh, continuous thing only building an mvp and to starting off with that and getting your this thing and also as a next step acquiring your first 10000 users so what was that growth journey like when uh, you got started picking up traction and that first set of people started using it got it so uh, the team that we had at uh, sappe also na so we went to that team and we said ki hey we are doing this next thing and uh, would you like to accompany us and at that time i think the placement was going on in our college Mm-hmm. and uh, the team that we had were like a couple of senior people a couple of junior people they knew about development and they they were ready to build an app but at that time uh, this hit us because a lot of people were really wanted to go for placements mm-hmm. right because of the market condition and stuff and the family pressure so we thought ki uh, we have to create a new team again starting from scratch right and initially no one believed you right uh, no one believed in your vision ki acha you will be doing uh, a next big thing right and you don't even know if we're going to work out or not right so uh, i asked yash ki yash we have to hire someone and we have to pay them right that's how that's how we can actually test the mvp also so i asked yash ki yash i don't have any money right and what we do now so yash again that faith come into the picture that trust come into the picture so he had around 40000 rupees in his savings mm. right and he said yaar i can give you around 10 to 15000 rupees or 40000 baki thoda save karaya maine maine kaha okay 15000 mein ho jayega so i had a pretty good connections and in tech communities groups right and a lot of people knew me about uh, that front also and through sappe also so i called them up i said ki hey i am doing this uh, can you can you build me an app mm. right so i have started already started building the app in uh, uh, i think we started building it app in react native mm. for the mvp right so i started building that i did a i think i was at the back end i created the front end i just have to connect it but i was facing a lot of issues uh, challenges while regarding while creating an algorithm yeah, how everything will work right and that's where a, a person we hired he was an intern he, he again he was from vit indore and uh, i asked him ki hey boss uh, take 15000 rupees per build an app for us mm-hmm. we, we just want to uh, check it out and that guy actually created the entire uh, front end and back end from scratch because what i created was shit <laughs> right and i thought ki theek hai you do this stuff i'll focus on the raising part mm-hmm. right i'll i'll focus on ki how i i can acquire the next 100 users right so the first 100 so that's how the mvp started to form we didn't spend any money apart from that developer uh we had few credits this company used kia for aws cost we had few cut credits from uh so you know if you are a developer you know about github so yeah. github ka ek student program hota hai Yeah. So you get a ton of softwares, even domains also from mm-hmm. them. So we completely use that uh, GitHub ka program. Mm-hmm. We took two licenses. One I took as developer in my name, and one I took as my own name. And we completely use that for starting from everything: notifications, AWS cost, uh, even Canva ka pro version. We all got from there. So the MVP was uh, was starting to formalize, and now I wanted to find people. so i started with the with our core basic understanding only ki hame apne liye build karna hai to mere friends ya mere circle ke friends ko acha lagega bro mm-hmm. that is they wanted to try it out so i started sending out links uh, to different uh, people on the groups so i think first 100 people came from whatsapp mm-hmm. right then if you if we talk about the next 1000 people uh, these these came from different communities that we had on discord right mm-hmm. and the next 10000 people uh, is come from uh, had come from college partnerships that we had we started to do that right so when when a lot of people stop stop pay they wanted to get it into their colleges also mm. right ki either hey i want a platform like this to host a competition i want a platform like this to teach about financial literacy in our college and we were like theek hai take it uh, at least we'll get a data mm. right and we were very keen on the data from starting uh because we understood one thing that to create a product which is gamified in in nature you you need a lot of data and if you if you, if you have a lot of data you can actually play on that to create a personalized experience for every user 
Mm. Right. So that that's how uh, we grew from uh, like hundred people, thousand, ten thousand, a lakh. So that's how we are going more. Mm. Right. I think I love the point that you said about uh, solving something for yourself first and solving something for immediate circle first. Yeah. Right. Which is, uh, I think all the perspective you need and everything that you need is right there. And then obviously you can analyze data further from more people coming in and sort of. Right. Right. Yeah, that's a great. I point. think. Mm-hmm. There was one point in the in our journey also where we got we're getting a good traction, and we thought ki ye bhi bana lete, ye bhi bana lete, ye bhi bana lete, right? And at that time, I was I was reading a lot of books, right? I love reading books. So, my like fundamental concept is I read books which I think uh, that I don't know about that particular topic, right? Let's suppose if I want to learn about communication, right? I'll probably search on the internet ki what's the best book for communication, right? So I, I started doing that. So Abibi, it's like if I don't know anything about a topic, let's say about AI ML, for example, mm. I can just go on internet. I can write the best book about AI ML, and I start reading that. Mm. I think a lot of people don't do that. They started reading random X Y Z books, mm. right? And uh, one thing they don't understand is that sometimes they don't need a book for mm. that particular topic because they will come. Yeah. So you can do one thing is that you can figure out what you don't know. Mm. So I read everything down what I don't know or what I want to improve on, and then I go on Google and I start writing it. Ki, what's the best book for that? Mm. Right? Because I think in building startup you need two things: either you need a mentor who can guide you on a- any other journey, which is very hard to find, right? Mm. Or you can build your own mentor, mm. right? So, I, so I didn't got any mentor first for starters, but I thought, ki, why not build one? Yeah. Right? So books was the best mentor that I had. Yeah. That's brilliant, man. I think that, that just goes to show the power of books, and if people actually read, how much they can actually gain from it. Right, right, so right. much good stuff is written down in one place, and yeah, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the next stage of the journey, right? Which is uh, we we saw that recently you hit hundred k users also. So firstly, congrats on that. Like no small, obviously hundred k. Uh, but now let's talk about this user acquisition journey going from ten k to hundred k. Wow, how was that different from like the initial ten k users? I'm sure. Lot of stark differences, so yeah, right. So I think when we got a good crowd, so we partnered with around three hundred plus colleges till date. Mm. And once we started going into one college, two college, three college, I think that's where we see a uh, our referral going up, mm. right? So people who like the product, they actually tend to refer to five to six of their friends, mm. right? So our still our current base, if you see, sixty five percent of our current base comes through referral. Mm. Right, and rest of the twenty five percent base comes through your college types and partnerships. Mm. Right, so that's where we actually saw that people are adopting it, people are taking interest in it. Right, so we went uh, we went viral a couple of times over different communities, you know, different uh, colleges also, like Pan India, IITs, NITs, VITs, and my my Christ is our favorite in Bangalore. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, so yeah, that's how our growth, uh, our growth started to take place. We were always keen on the fact that the CAC in this market was really high. Mm. Any, if you take any brokering product or any investment tech product now, the CAC stand anywhere between twelve hundred rupees to three thousand rupees. Wow, right? uh, that is huge. Yeah. If you see the marketing spend that these brokers or these companies do, it's thirty percent of their revenue. Wow. So let's suppose if Upstock is uh, earning three uh, thousand crores, for yeah. example. Mm. They're spending 30% of it just to acquire these users. Mm. And we understood one thing also that a lot of people are churning out on the DMAT section. Mm. So in, because in India, we, we tend to value the, the creation first, right? And then we tend to pay for it. But what, what all these broker platforms are doing is that you have to account create a DMAT account. And then you have to value in the stock market. Yeah. Uh, the, with the product of a gamification like ours also, we tend to give that value before creating a DMAT account. Mm. Right? We give you a free space, we give you a, a, a healthy environment to check about, do you really want to go into stock trading or not? Mm. Right? And, and that's where I think uh, we are essentially simplifying a problem. So, uh, we were on the topic, I, I just forget it. Uh, this thing, 100k users, college ah, communities. In right, right, right. Mm-hmm. So once we, we started seeing this uh, growth, we thought, ki, yeah, paid marketing, maybe we don't want to go. We don't mm-hmm. want to spend a ton of money on paid marketing. Even today, our competitors spend a ton of money on that front. Mm-hmm. We always thought that now we are on 100k, right? 
let's uh, let's say in next six months we want to go to five lakh users mm. right but that will be a combination of paid plus organic marketing and we were very bullish on organic creating organic approaches so if you see our our website uh, the monthly traffic is a lakh people mm. so we started our seo efforts two months back and it started to uh, go really well for us mm. right so we always thought kya ek user kya likhta hai google pe jaake agar usko investing seekhni ho to and it was generally in a line ki stock market kaise seekhe mm. virtual stock market stock market learning app right so we picked that keyword we understood ki hamara user yahi samajhta hai and even as a user maine bhi aise start kiya tha google karke right so zero uh, varsity aaya tha mere time pe to mm. we thought ki why not pick these keywords and is keywords pe koi kar hi nahi raha tha as a target apart mm. from few other players right grow karta hai target but wo bitna nahi karta beginner category ko mm. तो ये पोजीशनिंग ऐसी आई थी स्टॉक पे की साइड बता नेगेटिव वन जीरो एंड वन एक्सप्लोरर पीपल बिगनर पीपल इंटरमीडिएट पीपल सो वी डिड टारगेटिंग इंडस्ट्रीट क्या लोग यही लिखते हैं एक्चुअल में सो इवन इफ यू गो ऑन और प्ले स्टोर आईडीज आल्सो ना यू विल सी कि स्टॉक पे का नाम ऐसे आता है स्टॉक पे वर्चुअल स्टॉक मार्केट लर्निंग या स्टॉक मार्केट लर्निंग एप राइट सो सो वी थॉट मार्केटिंग इन दैट परस्पेक्टिव की यूजर क्या सर्च करता है एंड आई थिंक दैट्स वेयर आर कन्वर्जन ऑन द वेबसाइट इज ऑल्सो रियली गुड जर्नी It's just more common sense in terms of okay, what are people actually looking for, and then they'll come here. And in general, okay, college is also same thing, right? Very simple marketing fundamentals that were applied to sort of get to one hundred. Right, but I think he, we made a lot of mistakes. We made a ton of mistakes, and because we were very high on execution on experiments, we were actually able to do it at a lot of faster pace. Mm. Right. What happened is that we didn't know that this thing would work out, but mm. we didn't waste a lot of time. let's suppose if you want to go for seo we started doing it the next day right mm-hmm. that's how quick we are every step we do we we do it very quickly within a one or day or two we take that step and we move ahead i think a lot of first time founders that i have seen now they take a lot of time to think about a particular action mm-hmm. they tend to strategize it like a way ki wo 10 saal tak chalega yeah right but in startups in 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 a category defining product now you don't know what mm-hmm. will work yeah. right so you have to go to the traditional means ki लोग क्या सोचते हैं लोग कैसे करते हैं राइट एंड दैट टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड रिसोर्सेज टू बी ऑनेस्ट राइट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट वन वन थिंग राइट प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू डू अराउंड फिफ्टीन और सिक्सटीन एक्सपेरिमेंट्स इन ऑर्डर टू गेट वन थिंग राइट राइट लॉट ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन डेफिनेटली um in apps like these right it's very important that you have people sort of motivated like you said motivation is sort of like an enemy for your product and mm-hmm. right like, people to overcome that to come back right so uh with that or with also with your experience with early stage startups and what you've seen when it comes to uh retaining users after you've gained them uh what were some of the uh, in this case or in general what are some short term strategies can be used uh and then also how do you look at retention from a long term perspective and how do you have people continuously come on the app uh second one also I'm very interested in because especially for uh, like your app also right if, I, if, if one thing i'm noticing is once people reach a certain level of expertise and they've learned these many things they don't have incentive to come back and learn from stock pay anymore because like you said they'll want more advanced right. strategies and what not right so right. i'm very curious as to see what the long term is but first we'll talk about short term retention strategies uh with the application also like you mentioned i think retention for us works in a manner where we can build trust so let's and trust kaise banta hai ki let's suppose we are giving value we are giving you value first and we we'll then ask you to actually create an account on platform mm. okay one is that second is once you have formalized that trust ki acha i am getting a value mm. you tend to believe me more so you mm. come on day one also mm. so the thing i am talking about was day zero when yeah. you install the app now you got a, a, a thing ki acha theek hai mujhe value mil gayi aur mujhe kuch sign up bonus mil gaya platform pe aane pe so i have that first level of trust completed yeah second level of trust comes in when we ask them ki boss you are learning and now you can earn from the platform also mm. right once 
you earn from it and once you see that money coming into your bank account right second trust factor comes in mm. right so we have seen people putting 5 rupees and those people putting 1000 rupees later mm. that's the trust that we have built yeah right and when when people see so in india na very simple fact people work on two behaviors mm. one is money and second is social status mm. right so either you can introduce the money concept ki or incentivizing them for their good behavior so we always incentivize them for good behavior on the platform not with money but with behavioral rewards social mm. rewards mm. boss agar if you are learning this you will you will you are around uh, 1% top 1% from your friends mm. right and people tend to acknowledge that part in a very good way mm. hey i i did something better for my, myself right and that's a factor people keep coming back on the platform and then there's a playing section where we have a lot of games jahan par you tend to compete with other players right and when you compete as a as a basic indian behavior again uh, jab bhi hum dekhte hai ki hum first the ab second aa gaye ya third aa gaye we tend to become more competitive yeah. right because yeah. bachpan se ye sikhaya gaya yeah <laughs> either you top the class either you are loser yeah right? so simple as that so we when we see that we see that stickness is very much higher on the platform whenever you are competing with your friends or other players you you are like spending a lot of time on the platform mm. and the spending time on the platform is 44 minutes daily for a particular user and that is very huge when compared to different platforms in our space mm. right so uh, we saw ki acha uh, once the status thing and second is the money factor is is going quite well people tend to come back on the platform again and again and again over the period of time so that's where we see the retention uh, coming along so probably you have seen this on linkedin also that a lot of people actually boast about ki hey we have reached this particular milestone mm. but retention nahi hai but engagement nahi hai mm. right our yeah. engagement is 44 minutes mm. when i talk about retention our day 30 is 28% which is day 30 30 you know the user stick hai some yeah. of the user core user or an app have been stick to over 6 months with us wow. right so uh, of course retention is is a good thing to have but again they comes this come to a part ki you don't know what will work mm. aapki ek cheez aapke pure retention chart ko gira deti hai yeah so you have to quickly remove things also mm. so what we do is if the feature is not working right we tend to remove it from the app why to put it over there right mm. it's of no use so we have seen that that's work out that is working out for us also really well ki people don't want a cluttered app they just want a simple interface because again we are in a business of making financial as simple and fun right yeah i think that has been work out for us and कमिंग ऑन दैट क्वेश्चन वेर यू सेट ना कि एक बार ही आप उनका वो पर्टिकुलर गोल पूरा हो गया तो वो प्लेटफॉर्म पर क्यों आएंगे वेरी वैलिड पॉइंट एंड वी ऑलवेज थॉट इट थ्रू सो दिस कम्स इन एल टी वी के ऊपर ठीक है वट इज द एल टी वी दैट यूजर इज गिविंग टू अस सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल दस रुपये मुझे लगते हैं उसको एक्वायर करने में एंड आई एम गेटिंग वन फिफ्टी आउट ऑफ आउट ऑफ हेल्थ आइर बाई गेमिंग और प्लेंग एनीथिंग इन जर्नल राइट सो माई बेसिक गोल हैज बिन अचीव आई एम गेटिंग वन इज टू का आई थिंक 15 15x ka mujhe us pe seedha seedha mil raha hai so i'm i'm profitable by unit economics in that manner right but uh, we thought ki hame journey complete karni hai right i want our users to invest hmm okay i want to break that cycle jahan 90% log churn out karte hai i want ki at least 50% user aake invest karenge platform mein hmm right so once a user start uh, start their demat account create or their demat account on our platform what happen is ki हम जितना भी वो ब्रो ब्रोकरेज करते हैं ना प्लेटफॉर्म पे चाहे वो हमारे प्लेटफॉर्म से करें चाहे उस पर्टिकुलर ब्रोकर पार्टनर के पे जाके प्लेटफॉर्म पे करें वी स्टिल गेट अ रिवेन्यू आउट ऑफ इट राइट सो आप मेरे प्लेटफॉर्म पे करो या उनके प्लेटफॉर्म पे करो आई एम गेटिंग अ परसेंटेज शेयर आउट ऑफ इट राइट तो दैट इजेंशली हेल्प मी बिल्ड अनदर रेवेन्यू स्ट्रीम ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म एंड अब हम क्या चाहते हैं कि नाउ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड नाउ यू हैव बिलीव इन मी आई वॉन्ट यू टू लर्न समथिंग एल्स ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म नाउ गो लर्न क्रिप्टो और गोल्ड एंड म्यूचुअल फंड और गोल्ड राइट सो दैट्स अ लॉन्ग टर्म गोल की एक बार स्टॉक मार्केट सिंप्लीफाई कर दिया ठीक है वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन इट नाउ वी कैन क्रॉस सेल दैट पर्टिकुलर यूजर राइट सो आई कैन कैपिटलाइज ऑन इट मोर एंड मोर राइट सो दैट्स दैट्स अ दैट्स अ लॉन्ग वर्जन ऑफ थिंग्स दैट लुक लाइक बिकॉज़ आई वांट टू मेक अ प्लेटफार्म जैसे ड्यूलिंगो इट्स फॉर लैंग्वेजेस राइट यू कैन लर्न स्पैनिश इंग्लिश एनीथिंग आई वांट टू मेक अ सिंगल प्लेटफार्म वेयर यू कैन लर्न अबाउट एनी फाइनेंशियल रिसर्च इन जनरल एंड स्टार्ट योर जर्नी Yeah, 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 right. That's a that's a long term thing for software. Yeah, that's brilliant, also. I think. Yeah, in in that sense, when you sort of go in that direction, then obviously learning never stops, right? Like obviously, exactly. you keep exactly. coming back, and there's so much under just in finance. It's like probably more things than you can imagine under the sun. Just exactly, under exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah. 
uh cool we'll, we'll come to fundraising uh, right now talk about your journey and like some of the insights that you've seen as well as well as uh, what entrepreneurs starting out in college uh, can sort of take back from this whole process so uh, you raised like an investment around yourself and uh, gone ahead with it as well right so uh, as a first time entrepreneur as well right so what are some uh, insights you can share for these people first time entrepreneurs when it comes to finding an investor like what sort of mental model uh again for these investing questions you don't have to go too much into specifics in case yeah, there's yeah. something you don't you know you cannot reveal but yeah uh frameworks in terms of finding an investor one will do that and then we'll do talk about a little bit about pitch deck and pitching and some principles you need to follow around that as well so we'll start with finding investors right so i've, I've been following the startup ecosystem since i was like 15 when i started my e-commerce store start kiya tha. Mm. and I'm, I'm that time uh, pitching talking to an investor, emailing them about certain things, ki, hey, I'm building this, that, that. Uh, and I think that helped me really well because, so as a first time founder, you don't have any credibility in the market. Mm. No one knows you. No one wants to put a money uh, on the team that don't have a credibility, right? For experienced founders, it's pretty simple. WhatsApp, karo, paisa hai, right? As simple as that. It's yeah. a reality, right? You yeah. don't even have to pitch to investors. You just have to WhatsApp them if you are experienced enough. Yeah. Right. So what we saw that uh, I got rejected by over hundred plus people, hundred okay. plus investors. Every time I used to email them, they were like, "Hey, sorry, we really like the concept, but it's not going to work out." And blah blah blah. Right. We will checking. We will check it up after six months. That's okay. a simple line. Just like HR told it, na, we will get back to you. <laughs> Inka angel investors are They they yeah. say we will get back to you in six months or something. I think that's a very bullshit thing because anyone who wants the idea, who likes the team, mm. right, they will put their money within one month, right? Mm. Less than within one month, that's all that. So after rejecting, after, after uh, talking to a lot of people, going to a lot of networking events also, we understood that, yeah, credibility is as simple as that. Mm. <laughs> credibility ke koi paisa nahi dalega, right? So first investment round also uh, for stock pay, Happened in a line ki we tend to finding investors who are in a network. Mm. Ki hai aur mere thodi si credibility pe paisa de mm. And these were like family, friends, angels, right? And when you don't have a credibility, na, tend to go for these people first. Mm. Don't go for VC. Koi nahi mm. Kitna bhi hai, you know? So we took money from them. Then we had a credibility now. Ki achha fund ho to. <laughs> right? So now the game is to get to a higher credibility. A credibility mil gai, level one mil gai, level two achieve karna. Mm. So then we we had a second. Uh, uh, so we were building a good product, or we had INC forty two coverage mili thi, top thirty startups to watch. Mm. At that time, uh, we met a lot of people, lot of investors in the ecosystem. Us uh, time me bull run bhi chal raha tha. Yeah. Everyone was putting money into everything. So mm. I clothing brand banana hai, paisa milega. So I footpath banana hai, to mein paisa milega. <laughs> Jo bhi banana hai, you will get the money. Right? Yeah. And it always drive drive with FOMO. Mm. Now the market has been stabilized. A lot of investors now think of unit economics, think of revenue and everything. Previously, it was shit show completely. Yeah. So, uh, second time when our investor came, uh, it was more through through the credibility that we had in the market. Uh, so we were very popular in colleges at that time, and a lot of people were talking about us on LinkedIn, on Instagram, and stuff like that. So they they got to know about us and they say, "Ki yeah, let's have a meeting." So I was least interested in raising the second round. Mm. I don't know why, but I was. <laughs> I, I thought that mm. money is going to raise money. So uh, my team was taking it up. My my growth guy was taking it up. And uh, so they had like around two or three conversations. And then I came to know about ki that investor is calling us to Mumbai. Mm. To have a conversation with their CEO. Mm. Right? So I was like, yeah, what's going on? I mean, so, I don't know anything about that. Ki ekdam se aisa ho gaya. And now they're calling us to Mumbai. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to pay money on all these things. So they said, we'll give you a refund. I was like, okay, then. So we hopped on a plane, we went to that uh, meeting, and there were like around uh, six people from, from that. Uh, and our team was three people. And we were like three people that mm. we went. And uh, there were like six people from different uh, strategies. Uh, strategy department, different product people, sare log the. and that there was a CEO also. So we pitched, uh, we pitched, uh, so I started the pitch and I completed it within like 10-15 minutes. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing 
क्या करेंगे ये सब इनका कुछ नहीं होने वाला आई वॉज हैविंग दैट माइंड सेट एंड सो वी वेंट बैक हम वापस आए हमारा पूरा क्वेश्चन वगैरह हो गया उन्होंने कहा कि बताएंगे सोच के बताएंगे मैंने कहा ठीक है हम वापस आए सो आई वॉज एट अ डिनर विद माई फैमिली एंड आई गॉट अ कॉल इन एट लाइक नाइन थर्टी इन द इवनिंग कि बॉस हम लोग हमने सोचा है कि हम लोग करने वाले हैं और और आप बता दो कैसे करना है आई वॉज लाइक थोड़ा सा सरप्राइज था उस चीज़ को लेकर बट everything that i did for for like 8 9 10 years now calling to people to getting rejected understanding their behavior right i at that time it was just like ki theek hai ho gaya investing right but if you see in terms of for first time founder you will see ki they always tend to be like yaar mujhe kal ko hi ek bada valuation mil jaye kal ko hi mujhe uh, unicorn banana hai mm-hmm. and frankly i never think about valuations like mm-hmm. I don't care मुझे 20 million की valuation मिल रही है 30 million की मिल रही है 50 million की मिल रही है right? mm-hmm. I just want to get to higher credibility mm-hmm. as fast as possible because I knew कि the second company that I will make will have a larger impact in terms mm-hmm. of that right mm-hmm. because now I know more about everything right so even so I I said this thing to my investors also when we were raising our first round कि बस तुम्हें जितना equity चाहिए तुम ले लो give oh. me the money give me the money mm-hmm. I want to operate this company I want to build it right mm-hmm. because I think I really wanted to create an impact on a consumer level by building a stock pick. Mm-hmm. So that was uh, some some things. कुछ चीजें ऐसे भी होती हैं कि हमने दो बार round raise किया है, दोनों बार idea station stage पे raise किया है. एक जो हमने round stage किया था, उसमें हमने MVP बनाया था. We were just testing out कि क्या क्या चलता है, क्या क्या नहीं चलता. Second round जो raise किया था, उसमें हमें product बनाना था पूरा. So a lot of a lot of people think कि आपने idea stage पे कैसे ले लिया वैसा. I thought देखो idea stage पे कोई वैसा नहीं देता. अगर मैं आइडिया स्टेज आपको बोल रहा हूँ तो वी हैड स्मॉल फॉलोअर बेस वी हैड स्मॉल रेवेन्यू स्टेज ऑल्सो एट दैट टाइम दैट्स हाउ वी गॉट अ सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ फंड्स राइट इन इन जनरल अगर इफ यू थिंक कि कोई शुरू में आपको पैसा लगा देगा तो नहीं होने वाला दे ऑलवेज वॉन्ट कि आप स्किन इन द गेम कितनी है आपकी तो एवरी कॉल दैट वी हैड विद इन्वेस्टर्स इन दर्ली स्टेज इज ना दे ऑलवेज टेंट टू आज कि आपको कितना पैसा लगा है राइट एंड वी ऑलवेज से भाई चालीस हजार था हम उसको थोड़ा बढ़ा देते थे कि यार एक लाख रुपए लगाए हमारे तो हम बहुत इन्वेस्ट किया इसमें अपनी कैपिटल गई है बिकॉज यू ऑल्सो हैव टू शो देम कि दे इज अ स्किन इन द गेम राइट एंड आई कैन प्रोटेक्ट योर मनी कि अगर तुम मुझे दस करोड़ पंद्रह करोड़ रुपए भी दे रहे हो दैट से तो आई कैन टेक केयर ऑफ इट और मैं कहीं उड़ाऊंगा नहीं मैं कोई गाड़ी वाड़ी नहीं खरीद लूंगा एंड सरप्राइजिंगली आई सीन दिस एंड लॉट ऑफ टाइम नाउ इवन द मार्केट कंडीशन इज इज रियली बैड नाउ अ लॉट ऑफ इन्वेस्टर टेंट टू नॉट ट्रस्ट फाउंडर just because they think ki founder paisa idhar udhar kar dega mm right and just because of some from companies i will not name them you have probably seen them with the sequoia ka pura portfolio yeah they have actually disturbed the whole market ka sentiment yeah. at least the perspective of founder it's very much uh, disturbed now yeah investor just think ki agar aap paisa le rahe ho to aap uh, kuch x y z cheeze kar doge aur uski wajah se uh, pura kharab ho jayega sab kuch mm. so they, they just are scared and no one is buying that दैट शेट ना हो कि हम लोग ये बना रहे हैं वो बना रहे हैं वेब थ्री बना रहे हैं ब्लॉक चेन बना रहे हैं एंड आई थिंक वन ऑफ द फंडामेंटल इन साइड कीप इट सिंपल मतलब कोई देखो टेक्नोलॉजी से किसी को कोई लेना देना नहीं है उनको समझ में आता है बिजनेस एंड बिजनेस की मैं ए लोगों के लिए बी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व कर रहा हूँ मुझे सी इतना पैसा दे रहा है सिंपल लग रहा है इवन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड एवरी थिंग आप सरप्राइजिंगली नो वन आस्क इट फर्स्ट टाइम फाउंडर हम भी क्या गलती करते थे यार ब्लॉक चेन घुसा दे ए आई एम एल डाल दे इसके अंदर ए आई एम ए आई सॉरी ब्लॉक चेन स्ट्रक्चर्ड दिस वॉलेट दैट वॉलेट सब लाइक दैट दैट्स अ बैड वे टू डू इट बिकॉज फर्स्ट यू लुक फुलिश राइट बिकॉज यू आर नॉट क्रिएटिंग अ टेक राइट यू आर नॉट क्रिएटिंग अ टेक्नोलॉजी यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ सोल्यूशन फॉर अ प्रॉब्लम अ बिजनेस राइट एंड टेक इज अ फैसिलेटेड टू दैट नथिंग एल्स और वो सब आता भी नहीं है हमारे केस में तो कभी आया नहीं किसी ने पूछा हो कि भाई तुम्हारे अंदर ए आई एम एल है कि नहीं है ब्लॉक चेन है कि नहीं है जस्ट लाइक कोर बिजनेस या 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 ग्रेट इनसाइट आई थिंक फॉर नॉट जस्ट ऑल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फाइंडिंग इन्वेस्टर बट ग्रेट इनसाइट फॉर व्हाट यू हैव टू टेल एन इन्वेस्टर आल्सो एंड हाउ टू कीप इट सिंपल आई गेस इन दैट दैट आई वांट टू क्विकली टच अप ऑन व्हाट इज सेड अबाउट वैल्यूएशन आल्सो राइट सो योर प्रोसेस ऑफ जस्ट एक समाउंट ऑफ मनी इज नीडेड आई वॉन्ट टू गेट एक्स अमाउंट ऑफ मनी वैल्यूएशन इज नॉट समथिंग यू रियली वॉन्ट टू ब्रेक यर हेड टूवर्ड्स इज दिस यू वॉट रिकमेंड टू अदर फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन्टरप्रनर्स एंड यंग पीपल एज वेल दैट हाउ डू अप्रोच दिस वैल्यूएशन गेम वेन यू आर रेजिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड हाउ टू ऑल्सो नो 
how much to ask like uh, people will be like okay maybe i'm think maybe they'll think i'm too greedy if i ask for too much money something like that so how do you address these sort of inhibitions and uh, in that process so it started starting na uh, when i was very early in my journey i thought ki valuation is a very complex game mm. the maths ke bahut formula wagera ho gaye but actually once we i understood it, it's pretty simple it's just like ki what do you feel how much you can dilute how much you can give to an investor the stake let's suppose it's 10% mm. right divide uh, divide that value by 100 ठीक है तो दैट मींस आपको 10 आएगा ठीक है मल्टीप्लाइड विद जस्ट द अमाउंट दैट यू आर रेजिंग लेट्स से 2 करोड़ सो 2 into 10 व्हिच इज 20 20 mm. करोड़ की वैल्यूएशन हो गई अभी कंपनी की एज सिंपल एज दैट या सो इट स्टार्टिंग व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड व्हेन आई हैड माय फर्स्ट राउंड द वैल्यूएशन केम इन एंड आई वाज लाइक यार मैं इतना ही डाइल्यूट कर सकता हूं x फॉर एग्जांपल x एंड आई डोंट केयर अबाउट द वैल्यूएशन जो आपको देना दे दो मैं तो इतना डाइल्यूट करूंगा एंड सिंपल सा मैथ में क्या होता है कि वो डायल्यूशन आई जाती है हम्म वैल्यूएशन आई जाती है उतनी राइट तो लेट्स सपोज कि मैं ऐसे पांच ही कर सकता हूं पांच परसेंट डायल्यूट कर सकता हूं पांच परसेंट के हिसाब से पचास करोड़ की वैल्यूशन आती है सीधी सीधी है ना तो इट वर्क्स लाइक दैट और कोई अगर कोई इन्वेस्टर कहता है कि ठीक है मुझे पांच ही चाहिए तेरे से ठीक है तो आई एम तो मतलब वो मान गया वैल्यूएशन आपकी एज सिंपल एज दैट इससे ज्यादा कोई कॉम्प्लेक्स हो ही नहीं सकती चीज बट इफ यू गो इन टू द कैलकुलेशन एंड स्टफ की शेयर होल्डिंग ये सब कैसे वगैरह होगी वो तो लीव इट टू योर लॉयर्स लीव इट टू योर अकाउंटेंट इवन स्टार्टअप्स वी डोंट नो कि भाई कैसे होता है हम डेवलपर से हम टेक वाले बंदे थे हमें नहीं पता था कि कंपनी में क्या क्या होता है द इन्वेस्टर दैट वी हैड द एंजल्स द एक्चुअली हेल्प डस गेट अ लॉयर विच जो पूरी कॉस्ट थी वो उन लोगों ने बेयर की थी सो दैट लॉयर वॉज रिप्रेजेंटिंग दैम ऑल्सो एंड दैट रिप्रेजेंटिंग अस ऑल्सो and that lawyer helped me out in and out with everything mm-hmm. starting from the terms and conditions starting uh, helping me raise second round third round fourth round as a creditor and the details ki kaise hoti hai i think that's come in ki aap kitne ache log se associate ho rahe ho so our lawyer they they were a part of uh, a company hai bharat pe mm-hmm. unki unki legal team ka part the and he actually saw how bharat pe took off right so he he know that ki scale pe kaise cheeze aati hai and kaise baat karte hain and he's a very a famous name uh, in the community he he do deals for softbank for tgp tiger global and stuff like that so he helped me in and out with that legality wala stand valuation ka unhone mujhe bataya ki aise calculate kar sakte hain it's a very simple formula right nahi to hame bhi calculate nahi karna aata tha i used to find a valuation calculator on google <laughs> i was like that dumb but i think yeah I always do googling first right before asking anyone so i did google google ko bhi nahi mila ki valuation ka kaise milta hai it's a complex topic yeah uh, fascinating enough i i really wanted to go for credibility depending upon sabke first time want to apna apna cheez hota hai they want to go for money they want to chase valuation they can do that mm. but for me it was uh, building something right and getting credible into market mm. because i have that confidence ki if i can build this company i can build 10 more mm. right so that and that time i i think he tab le lenge valuation hmm so you have to do a little sacrifice on that front also in order to get credible into the market right so just like job if you if you consider job also na ki aap apna medal show karte ho to your employees to to your ceo to your manager also right uh, entrepreneurship is just like same only you you tend to show the medal to your investors shareholder media the people who are watching you ki hey i can do this yeah so so that's the thing yeah yeah really uh okay we'll, we'll sort of move to like different topics uh, last few questions are more like little light hearted and around mm-hmm. uh, college students specific problems and how to address them that kind of a thing but before that one of the things you mentioned which i wanted to come back to also uh when you were talking about lifetime value right which is addition of new features and cross selling those features to keep people on the platform for a longer time so uh when this kind of thing comes as always this communication problem that sort of comes up right which is first you have to uh, how do you tell your users and the public that okay these are kind of new features are coming on the platform and the communication framework sort of that you use for that uh, and then more importantly this investors and internal team also i'm sure a lot of places when you're like no okay let's do this they're like oh, no, what i don't really understand and all that so the justification becomes important saying okay i want to introduce this to my platform right now so how do you uh, tackle these stakeholders and explain to them that these new features are coming up and uh, they're extremely important 
So first, let's start off with telling the public and telling users about it. So, so the external communication comes on the part of a marketing side, right? And uh, what we did was, anytime we are launching a particular feature, which will be helpful for a user, we tend to give them around one week of buffer. We, we throw them with the emails, we send them a notification and stuff like that, right? So in, in inside our app, there is a banner. Mm. It's some sort of an announcement banner. So we put a banner saying, hey, this new feature is coming at this particular time, right? In the next update or the next update or so. So communication is very important in terms of users because क्या होता है ना कि आप प्रोडक्ट इंप्रूव तो कर देते हो स्टेबिलिटी सब कर देते हो बट एक नोशन है इंडिया में कि अगर मैं कुछ अपडेट कर रहा हूँ ना तो मुझे कुछ नया दिखना चाहिए ऐप में राइट दैट्स हाउ आई आई सी की द ऐप इज प्रोग्रेसिंग राइट इफ 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 सम टीम से कि भाई मैंने बैक एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग कर दिया मैंने ये कर दिया मैंने वो कर दिया और इसके लिए मैंने ये अपडेट निकाला है यू एन आई यूजर सी एट एंड सी की यार उसको तो दिखेगा नहीं बैक एंड इज समथिंग की सब कुछ पीछे चल रहा है आपके उसको क्या दिखता है ऐसे फ्रंट एंड Yeah. अगर फ्रंट एंड पे कोई अपडेट नहीं आया तो उसके लिए वो अपडेट ही यूज लेस है कंपनी के लिए कितना भी अच्छा क्यों ना तो वी ऑलवेज टेंड टू फोकस ऑन थिंग्स दैट आर दैट कैन बी सीन ऑल दो उनकी फंक्शनलिटी लिमिटेड हो कुछ भी हो छोटा से छोटा फीचर हो बट हैज टू बी गो समथिंग की कुछ तो आया है नया ऐप में कि चलो यूजर वापिस आएगा देखने के लिए उसको ठीक है कम्युनिकेशन नोटिफिकेशन हम करते हैं हम बैनर पर पोट करते हैं वी पोट आउट ई मेल ऑल्सो तो दैट हैज बीन वर्किंग आउट फॉर अस राइट नाउ But I doubt ki at scale when we hit five lakh or ten lakh users, that will not work out for us. Then excessive spending on marketing will work out because that's what people see, mm. right? And that that's what people buy in. So this is one thing. Second is step towards the second question. Investors and uh, justifying to them about right, right. right. So that's that, that's a pretty I think. सब लोग ये सारे startups से जुस्ते रहते हैं. How we see how how we try to simplify it. कि we tend to back everything with facts. राइट सो लेट सपोज पवन सिंह की हे नेक्स्ट कम्युनिटी बिल्ड करते हैं स्टॉक पे के अंदर राइट तो आई विल आस्क अ क्वेश्चन की हाउ मेनी पीपल आर रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन बिल्डिंग अ कम्युनिटी डू वी हैव एन एक्सपेरिमेंट टू जस्टिफाई दैट सो वी टेंड टू डू मैनुअल एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन वी सी वी थिंक अबाउट टर्न ऑफ आइडियाज राइट वी देन वी रैन इट टू आर गाइडिंग प्रिंसिपल्स सो गाइडिंग प्रिंसिपल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैन बी की हमारी ऑडियंस एटीन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव है सिर्फ कोर ऑडियंस ये काम करती है प्लेटफॉर्म पे विजन आ जाता है कि हमें इसमें ही करना है और ये चीजें नहीं करनी है तो वी वी टेक दोज आइडिया एवरी आइडिया वी थिंक ऑफ एवरी वियर आइडिया स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम बिल्डिंग शिप टू थिंकिंग ऑफ क्रिएटिंग एन यू एफ और एन एलियन इन ऑफ मोबाइल ऐप ठीक है वी वी थिंक ऑफ ऑल द वियर आइडिया एंड वी डू वी मूव इट टू द गाइडिंग प्रिंसिपल एंड एफ दू एफ वी फील की अच्छा ठीक है गाइडिंग प्रिंसिपल के बाद सबसे सही है now we have two or three ideas we tend to experiment it with the real users mm. so every time you open the app you will see the there is some random experiment that is going on with the audience ki unko acha lagega ki nahi lagega and i think that customer obsession approach that customer obsession is very necessary because a lot of time your stakeholder and investor will say ki are yaar tumhara competitor ye bana raha hai tum kyun nahi bana rahe ho mm. then you have to give them a compelling compelling answer ki dekho my audience is this and investors ki audience hi hai Mm. sorry that competitor audience here right and we don't want to go in that direction we will be going in that direction but after this step mm. right so that's how you navigate through different stuff in our journey also a lot of times uh, teams fight between themselves ki ye feature laenge wo feature laenge and i think ki you have to you have to be that product guy although mm. pm do this at a, at a higher stages jab aapka series a ya series b ho jata hai aapka but before that you are the product manager so take everything under your control ki how do you want to direct the company into as a founder mm. right so i i manage the product team till that i manage the product team we don't hire any pm or something mm. but we will be going to now because the scale is reaching and there are multiple aspects ki engagement yahan drop ho rahi hai is feature pe retention yahan drop ho raha hai mm. how we can optimize that right mm. optimization comes later that's where a pm is very helpful because they can run multiple experiments that you can't think of mm. right but before that just build what you think is right because if it didn't work out it should give you a mental peace ki you did whatever you thought is good for you right and it's not something like kisi random xyz ne bol diya tha ki ye bana lete hain aur ye chal jayega mm-hmm. right i think ki uh, one thing is also worked out for us is ki going to the specifics ki yaar tu mujhe bata engagement badhega is feature se to kitna badhega mm-hmm. don't just say me ki bad jayega engagement mm-hmm. vague nahi bolna specifics batao सेवन परसेंट बढ़ेगा टेन परसेंट बढ़ेगा ट्वेंटी परसेंट बढ़ेगा 
so that going into specifics asking a uh, brutal questions also sometimes we fight a lot between teams ki kyun hum nahi la rahe iska kya answer hai kyun aayega so asking that why multiple times also helped us out mm-hmm. so no any no particular framework in that order but uh, ek apna hi hum log ne framework create kar liya ki we do all these activities in just to order to get that confidence mm-hmm. if this feature will work out or not right mm-hmm. and sometimes mostly it, it's like ki we do customer service every 10 days every 7 days so we cover a lot of insights from that part what users are liking what to double down on or what to remove uh, so that's the that's how the removal of features comes in if users are not using it mm-hmm. or in data also complement this factor because sometimes aapke paas data aa gaya ki user ko ye product acha nahi lag raha right user bolta hai mujhe ye product pasand nahi hai but user is spending a lot of time on that product only mm-hmm. <laughs> right particular feature only so the yeah. user just start to correlate the findings of a of a need plus with the data actually mm-hmm. that that helps out really well mm-hmm. yeah yeah very insightful uh cool okay we'll we'll move to more light hearted questions now they've covered some uh very heavy knowledge as, as well about all these topics which is helpful <laughs> uh insights will continue but we'll keep it on like a more lighter note now and uh, you can give like uh some rapid fire answers also i think to to a lot of these questions uh, <laughs> sure when, whenever you feel it obviously uh okay first thing is college students uh trying to break into the lego startups and make a case for themselves and grow really uh, well within the role as well right so uh what would you recommend in terms of two things one is taking up courses certifications what's like your idea about this whole thing and how much focus should there be and then on another hand we'll talk about uh, case studies projects internships more like practical experience kind of a thing so your thoughts on that as well but first we'll start with uh, courses certifications so i did a multiple uh, certification because again i really want to acquire that knowledge let's suppose i want to go for android development right mm. uh, so i did all the free courses either on youtube coursera udemy right mm. so i i tried finding out different hacks or trips or tricks ki free mein kaise mil jaye course i never paid for anything mm. right i am a self taught programmer uh, so it comes down to the point ki at one point you have to decide ki yaar theoretical knowledge bahut ho gayi hai mm. now i have to go for practical and uh, think right so i i am not a big believer of formal education because that is just theory that mm. you go even in college also right so uh, but लेट सपोज आपको अब नेक्स्ट वेबसाइट बनानी है कोई तो गो गो इन टू दैट पुट योर मेटल इन टू दैट या राइट स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग इट कितना ही अगर नहीं आएगा समझ तो गो टू स्टार्ट ओवर फ्लो राइट द एर मैसेज दैट यू गेट ना इट एक्चुअली हेल्प यू ग्रो एवरी टाइम एंड एंड दैट्स द बेस्ट पार्ट दट आई आई एक्चुअली टीच टू अलॉट ऑफ प्रोग्रामर्स ऑल्सो फर्स्ट टाइम प्रोग्रामर्स की फिक्र मत करो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर वेब डेवलपमेंट स्टार्ट विद एस टी एम एल सी एस एस एंड दस दस बिल्ड समथिंग गो एंड बिल्ड समथिंग I just don't dwell on it HTML concept CSS concept concept CSS React just don't do that yeah. this applies to to entrepreneurship also also even jobs also. Right? you just have to go and get the shit done right so just don't wait so one thing is that second is about the internship and stuff right so this uh, this particular thing where you know about a particular topic let's suppose web development in general you have created a project for that and you have created multiple projects on basis of that alone that gives you an added advantage because now people can see ki tum akele hi bahut ho so in my resume also github pe i started uh, posting i started doing everything right flutter ho website development ho kuch bhi ho so there is a notion that goes in tech tech uh, world which is ki ek hi cheez pe focus karo mm. and i i am going into other direction ki if you want to learn something learn that mm. build a product build a build a particular feature or something move on learn mm-hmm. something else right yeah. because aapko bhi to maza aana chahiye na us cheez mein if you're not getting that kick and yeah. it, it's not worth it right and you will not get that kick once you don't know the difference between web mein kitna maza aa raha hai and android mein kitna maza aa raha hai mm-hmm. right? and this happens for every other skills mm-hmm. you can apply this for any other skills so i did that i made multiple projects on multiple languages put it on github koi bhi puchta tha ki kya bana hai even for freelancing also i just उनको दिखा देता था अपना गेटअप का ये लो ये मैंने लाइव किए हुए फीचर्स एंड सब कुछ आपको नाउ नाउ द एरा की एवरीथिंग कैन बी मेड लाइव लिंक बन जाते हैं सब चीजों के आई गेट द वेबसाइट आई कैन होस्ट इट ऑन एक्स वाई जेड प्लेटफॉर्म राइट एंड आई कैन सेंड दैट लिंक टू दैट्स हाउ आई लैंडेड अ लॉट ऑफ क्लाइंट्स एंड दैट्स हाउ आई स्टार्टेड माय एजेंसी सो इन दैट एजेंसी वी वर लाइक अराउंड 20 25 पीपल बिल्डिंग फॉर अदर बी टू बी कंपनीज 
right? So we are operating like an IT company and that time service-based IT company. So we were, we had clients from Delhi, Haryana, Punjab, Pune, Mumbai also, right? And we are serving those people. The money was good, but it just like ki, I felt that it's not working out for me. Hmm. Right. So mm-hmm. I just have to close the client. Yeah. And one thing I learned in that business also is trust, building trust. So we did differently that all of you called and told you website, I'll give you 10,000 website. Mm-hmm. But no one knows why you're making it. Do mm-hmm. you really need it or not? Yeah. Some of the clients called me and said that my budget was 25,000, 30,000. And I uh, said, make this, make this, make this. So I said, boss, shanto jo. why do you want to make it? If hmm. you are starting a new business, website ban jati hai, bana dunga. why do you want to spend a lot of money on this part? Yeah. Then you understand their queries. Ki mujhe ye banana hai, ye banana hai. So I just guide them. Ki, it's not necessary now. Hmm. Right? And when you tell people that you are not from perspective, se ho, but you are actually helping them save the money, yeah. they actually trust you more. And they say, ki, hai, whatever you think is ap- applicable, send me the invoice and everything, I'll, we can move forward. That's how I close a lot of deals. Even today, a lot of clients call me and say, hey, Shubham, do you do that part or not? Yeah. And I, I have to direct that to the team that is doing that. Yeah. Right. So I think that that's how you build trust in India. That is worked out for me. And once you have that credibility, so of course, all projects and the And the mm-hmm. cycle is running. Yeah. yeah. Right? Till the time it gets boring or you, you earn a lot of money out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good framework to sort of a, a, like a good process that you can follow. I think with anything to learn anything, right, which is a little bit theoretical knowledge applied on a project, uh, build a lot of projects and show some proof and then start uh, selling it to other people and make right. some money. For them. At any point of time, I did this thing also because I client name this day and the project was not up. With the project, I came up for answering them. Start mm-hmm. I, th- I had around two, three projects. I started showcasing websites that no one knew. I haven't built them, but someone else built them. I just, a client in manga ki, uh, kya kya hai. So I just add, uh, used to add that links. Mm. It's your billing. Yeah. Right? So uh, I think that fake it till you make it wala concept thoda sa apply karta hai, but it doesn't apply a lot because you should know about kya build kar sakte. Yeah. Right. If you don't build it, that's a reputation cost. Yeah. Right. And people will say, ki, yeah, it's a new buyer. Yeah. And and fill up a ik or client code because now if that particular client wants to refer you, they will not refer you. Mm. Right. So I did that also. Come project se kisi or project dikha diye, but you have to be confident on that front. Mm. Ki, agar koi, agar project milta hai aisa, mm. so you can make that. Mm. Right. So that's the thing. Really, really. Uh cool. I mean, last couple of like final light-hearted questions as well. So one is obviously your post about Bangladesh. I really want to come back to this. <laughs> <laughs> not talk man, not like about that or like have a debate about Bangalore versus other city or something. Right, right, Fair right. enough. But uh how much do you see like in this modern world? I think especially with startups, right? Uh, especially with emerging startups, there's always the risk of startup being associated with founder. And founder only posting things that are like in line with the startup and uh, sort of something like that. And uh, on the other hand, you also have to express your beliefs, your individual beliefs freely as well, right? On social right. media and right. your... Right. Right. So what what's your thoughts on one is expressing your own beliefs and content like this? Uh, we'll look at it to a perspective. Like this is just an example, obviously. But apart from that, uh, what are cases or how is it bad when a co-founder, when a founder becomes the face of the startup and now suddenly all your content is kind of seen from that lens but on the other hand how is it also good to express your own individual beliefs and keep expressing them uh and and how important would that become to sort of build your brand so we'll take a more like philosophical approach to this to right, that right, right, right. but yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts about it yeah so i think i got from i start from linkedin <laughs> linkedin post that i wrote about uh bangalore so it was my personal opinion, right? When a lot of people were just boasting about Ki Bangalore ye hai, Bangalore wo hai, right? Bangalore. So I, I really like the people over there, right? And I was post when I even wrote that this is my personal opinion, hai, and yeah. I really don't want people think like he uh, watch it. Okay. Yeah. I mentioned that clearly in the platform, but of course, uh, India is a democratic country, right? Everyone has a view. Yeah. Some people came to my inbox saying that. It's a platform, yeah. LinkedIn is a social platform, right? Yeah. 
So a few things that I really wanted to do differently in, in that also was we went to Bangalore because we thought that it's a good way for mm. startup side and we can build, we can meet a lot of people, we can meet a lot of investors, right? And it's a very uh, rapidly changing city. Mm. Every time kuch na kuch naya hai. Mm. Startup ban rahe, khatam ho rahe, aisa ho rahe. So, but over time I realized that my team jo banane wale startup, they are not comfortable in Bangalore. Mm. Why? Because of food, because of rent, because of traffic and stuff like that. Mm. Right? And I don't want to hear that complaint again and again from my team. Yeah. Because if my team is focused on this this part, that they are going to fuss on this, they are going to fuss on this, right? Uh, they will not build something good. At least for me. Mm. And com- being being a North Indian, I am biased in that way that I like food. Yeah. Right? And if food is not there, my mind doesn't work. Yeah. Right? As simple as that. Yeah. So I, I wrote all these points on LinkedIn post also that main reason food tha, and then the, there was like barrier also, language barrier also. Then exp, uh, what traffic tha, rent cost of living was thi. That's why we shifted to Mumbai and because my co-founder is Mumbai ka hai, so we don't have to rent out a space. We mm. already have a space over there. So my whole team can work there. Simple mm. as that. Unique, unit economics. As simple yeah. as that. Budget was good for me. I was there. Yeah. And people found it offensive that I had to say 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 that but that's okay. That's their belief. So that's the one part. Uh, second part was the face of the content. Yeah. So building a personal brand for first time founder is very important. Right. And the sooner you do it, it's better because again, it helps you with investors. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was my a little personal brand that helped me raise funds also because they were watching what they he should be writing content, should be doing something on LinkedIn and stuff like that. Right? Mm. And still a lot of client prospects that we get it from LinkedIn only. Mm. Right? So build a personal brand, express your opinions. Uh, work when you a particular industry. So for me, it was always about finance. Sabbe was also in finance. And then it comes to tech. Right? I did tech consulting. So any other experience, I did developing also. So I write about that. I write about uh, startups and about the investment also right so that's how that's how we grew but you have to share quality content mm. sometimes you post randomly post sometimes so initially i was like very uh frequent on posting on linkedin but then i thought yeah it's not working out for me mm. if i want to build a brand jo log perceive kare, shuru se, ki sh- if shubham is there log ke, ye, ye curious on that one Mm. that's the word that people should think about mm. whenever they hear my name right? not an entrepreneur, not a founder but a curious guy right? so I started building in that manner only and that, and you have to present that to your team, to your investor and everyone mm. right? it's not like faking it but if you generally believe that I want to be this one mm. so you go with that then your photo is your co-founder gets upset that I don't have that that also go in the line yeah. probably the core, core team they also think kya bana to humre hai ye to kuch nahi karta hai to gyan deta hai bas bait ke they also feel kya yaar hamara naam bhi aana chahiye yeah so all this happens when you grow in a startup and i think don't think so ki first time aanu ka itna load lene ki zarurat hai un cheez pe they don't even have to think about it yeah what the core team do can do is or what the founder can do is ki help their have the core team build up their personal brand mm. either agar thoda sa paisa hai aapke paas so hire some ghost writers on mm-hmm. the link and they can write the content on behalf of the core team. Mm-hmm. That's the best you can offer. But a face of the company is very necessary. Yeah. Because every time someone comes, they should know about ki, this is the person that I want to talk to. Mm-hmm. Right. And over time, I think my team also, my co-founder also, my stakeholders also have understood that concept that mm-hmm. right. so they have expect, uh, accepted that fact. Mm. So I think that's one of the way our teams can do it. But initially, there a problem <laughs> for any founder, for any any person to justify to their co-founders at least why name is their And I think that comes to the respect. My mm. so, co-founder is for that respect. Hai liye, meri jo respect hai uske liye. That is where uh, the difference is made. Yeah. Right? How, how, how much respect is actually there that you make a face of the company. Ka. Yeah. Right? That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very insight. I think uh, this is beautiful, right? I think these kind of podcasts and uh, what we do at Cora.com, these kind of insights come out, which are almost never spoken about anywhere. 
Uh, that, that's a great thing. So I'm very glad that you spoke about like that part of it also with uh, brand and personal image and all that. Uh, cool. Okay, we'll we'll do one final couple of questions and uh, we'll we'll close on that. So first is as an entrepreneur and you've been an entrepreneur for uh, some time now as well, right? What is your definition of a work life balance and how do you go about maintaining it? And second, <laughs> another side of that question is also how do you uh, practices or anything that you do for your own mental health that you find very uh, relaxing. Uh, so first of all, we'll start with uh, talking about uh, work life balance and what it means to you. So there is none. Uh, there's no work life balance. There's no concept of work life balance actually in any startup. So th- we do one thing very differently with other startups. Ki whenever we hire someone, we purposely tell them that there is no work life balance in Stockfair. As simple as that. Yeah. We don't boast about any culture that we have. We let people to decide what the culture looks like in Stockfair. Mm-hmm. Right. We don't say flexible policy. We say ki tum aao, tum ek dekho, tum hai aata hai to, it's good. Right? That's how we have retained talent also by being very open and transparent. Mm-hmm. Right? And be, so this comes down to the lead, uh, core leadership and the uh, founders, founders and co-founders. He, you always have that thought ki kya ho hai? what I can do next. Mm-hmm. And when I say next, it can be raising, it can be people paying on the platform, it can be how people are perceiving your product, how you can make it big. Right. What's the next step look like? Mm-hmm. So every time which whichever person is leading the product, in, in this case me, I will be thinking ki yaar, retention metric kaise mm-hmm. Main monetize kaise For example, my co-founder, he, he, he might be in operation, but he will be thinking ki market kaise kare. Ki internal working kaise sudare, product kaise better kare. Mm-hmm. So and when you do that, you always go into that zone jaha par you always neglect your family, mm-hmm. neglect your friends. Right. If you're very curious, we are very ambitious, very curious on that front. You'll always tend to be in that isolated zone. Mm. And I think that's a sacrifice that you have to make mm. when you are building something. Uh, what happened now is ki people say ki party karna uh, don't drink, don't go out with your friends and stuff like that. I think uh, for me, I tend to have a block of time where I do random shit. Mm. Okay, I either go out with friends, I either go out with drink, go to have some drinks, right? Probably roam, roam on a scoot, scooty in Delhi. Mm. And I do the all other part. It comes down to point ki what's after that? Agar mm. mujhe energize, energize kar hai, motivate kar hai, ya thought process clear kar hai, I can do that. Mm. And hustle culture hai, it's, it's what you define it. Mm. Right? You don't have to be in a notion ki achha, uh, oh yoga founder Ritesh Agarwal is uh, doing 18 hours of work. Boss, uska help na. <laughs> yeah. If you get to that level, you will have that caliber, you have that team to manage everything. Yeah. Right? So most of our time goes in meeting, 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 right? It's 8.30. We start at 9.30 in the in the morning. Mm. Right? It goes in meeting, meeting. So there's no work like balance. That's okay. Mm. Right? And and I think uh, this phase where you are starting up, you have now decent amount of traction, decent amount of funds in your pocket. It's time to build something credible and then in the next two or three years is the time where you actually start living your life mm. because the, the, when the pressure is there you will always think differently when there is no pressure you you tend to be like what will happen so that's my take on that yeah, yeah brilliant uh, cool okay we'll, we'll conclude final question and uh, very hypothetical fun sort of a question mm. which is, if you had to go back to college what would you do differently and we look at two contexts. One is uh, if you had to take, if someone took you back to first year of college and you had to change something. And in another context, go back to like the final year of college, final couple of years of college and what you would do differently there. So first, let's talk about first year of college. If I were to go back in the first year of college, right? I will network with a lot of people and not care about college in general. <laughs> yeah, right? I will not care about uh, attendance and stuff like that. Probably I will drop out from the college. Oh, wow. right. That was the day because I think he, college give you that confidence ki, th- okay, you talk now you're talking to a lot of people, but you can level up that game. Mm. Uh, but uh, if you have that confidence from starting onwards, you can be like, hey, fuck that shit. I don't want to do this because it's, it's it isn't worth it, to be honest. In my second year of college, I thought of uh, dropping out. Right, because I find it very boring. Because whatever I was studying, I did in tech. Yeah. <laughs> More than that. 
So I, I so that's why most of my time in college also went to networking events and stuff like that. Right. And finding a good co-founder. Mm. And that's how. Brilliant. First and, is that. And second one was which what question was it? Third, fourth year of college, if you have to go back. I would go back to third, fourth year of college. If I want to build something, I will not think about placements. <laughs> as simple as that. Mm. Quite quite for a while, talk to my family, mm. spend time with my dad. So my dad is no more. When we started okay. stock pay, uh, my dad passed away. And uh, yeah, sp- spend time with family because you never know what will going to happen next. Right. And yeah, don't think about placements or job. Like it's it's a it's a least of the worries if if you know how to build skills. Mm. So that was the thing. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Uh, okay, awesome, Shivam. That's the end of all our questions. And uh, thank you so much for being part of our podcast. I think this is. Uh, this is one of the more different ones that I've done. I think in terms of insights, <laughs> and uh, it's spoken to a few founders, entrepreneurs, and investors, all sorts of people till now. But I think a different side of entrepreneurship also which we spoke about today, and it was it was a lot of fun. 